What's going on, everybody? I'm Primal Liquid, and welcome to my guide for Atelier Riser 3. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create the ultimate perfect weapon for Claudia. And this one was incredibly, incredibly difficult to figure out what the actual best weapon for her is. Originally, I really, really wanted to use the Seal Shoot, simply for its just massive AP generation ability, Unfortunately, the attack 5 ruins it, and there's no way to get around it, even using Link Morph or anything like that. We are unfortunately stuck with it, and that just ruins this weapon entirely. So, we are going to go with the Astrum Nox. Now, why are we going with this one? So, basically, we get a massive critical rate boost and evasion boost. Now, for me, Claudia is just going to be an AI-controlled party member, where the only real task for her is to generate AP for us. And so that's why we're going with this one, because the extra critical rate and evasion rate is going to come in handy. As for the other effect, Mark of Assistance, we can just ignore that. We're not going to bother with that at all. So what we're going to do first and foremost is we are going to drop some Goldatarians and an Eternal Fyro in there. Now, the Goldatarian, make sure that is perfect, okay? What I mean by perfect is you want Gear Synth all plus 5 and Gear Synth attack slash speed plus 5, okay? Once you've got that, just drop it in, same with the Eternal Fero. Now, unfortunately, when it comes to this weapon, we do unfortunately have to waste some quantity to actually unlock the abilities, okay? Simply due to the fact we will not have enough level wiggle room in item rebuilding to unlock everything. Also, what we're going to do is we are going to press L3 on the Eternal Fyro slot because we are going to change that over. We're going to replace that effect with something else. Now, if this was for, say, Riser or Empal, we would use the item boost ability, but it's not. So instead, we are going to use an Equipment Enhance Critical by dropping in a Wolf Beast Blade. Now, the good thing here, okay, is the weapon itself gives her a massive critical hit rate boost. So we're going to go ahead and increase her critical hit damage as well. And this is going to go all the way up to 40%, which is going to be an amazing, amazing boost. So now what we also want to do is we want to drop some traits in and some super traits. Now, this is going to be down to personal preference, okay? Some people want, will want to use higher stats. I personally think that Claudia is actually a really high stat unit anyway, and she does have good evasion. So the stats aren't actually going to come in all that helpful. So instead, what we're going to do, okay, is we are going to boost her damage instead. So first and foremost, okay, we are going to filter by traits on the gemstone section here. And the traits that I am personally going to use, again, this is entirely down to you, okay? You can change these around if you want. We're going to throw in a fire and ice crystal because I want mana heat and super cooling. Now, in terms of the um, the super trait, if you are going to manually play Claudia and you are going to use her skills, you want to use the ultra skill super trait, okay? I am not going to do that though. Like we are not going to use her physically, like manually. So using a skill boosting ability is kind of pointless because she will never actually use them. So what I'm going to do instead is there are two super traits that we can use. One of them is Berserker Spirit, which will be a massive attack increase, or we can use Ruxasha, which will also be a massive, massive damage increase. So I'm just going to go ahead and hopefully throw both of them in. I'm pretty sure I've got a, another Ruxasha somewhere. It's just a case of actually finding it. Maybe I don't. Okay, we might actually be forced to use Berserker Spirit here. I don't think I have a Ruxasha. No, I might actually. Yeah, I do have a Ruxasha. Okay, sweet. So, now that we have a Ruxasha there, we're going to go ahead and drop the Ruxasha here in the traits one. We needed to put an item there anyway, just to actually 
you know, get us through that section so we can unlock these super traits. We're not going to put anything there just yet, though. We can do that in item rebuilding. For the ingots, we're going to drop another grand organ in just so we can sort of move on. Basically, right now, what we want to do, okay, is we want to get as many ingots in as possible while also unlocking a lot of the actual skills. So once again, we're going to drop another grand organ in there. Another one in there. Now we've got three quantity left. We're not going to really bother with any of this. We could go ahead and get the extra attack if we wanted to, but we can do that later. That's fine. So what we can do now is we can either dump in a bunch more grand organs for extra stats, or we can use a super key. Now, the super key that we are going to use, okay, if you've watched my other guides, it's not going to be quantity up. I know, it's a miracle, right? The reason I'm not going to use quantity up, okay, is, as I mentioned earlier, Claudia is an incredibly evasive built tank, okay? She has very high speed, so we don't really need the extra speed there. Defense doesn't matter because of the armor we are using with her, and she doesn't need any extra health. So we're going to use attack increase XXL. This is actually going to give us an extra 50 attack with her, okay? This is going to be much better than using extra grand organs. So as you can see right now, she's got 100 plus extra attack there. And now for the final free quantity, we're going to go ahead and dump in three more grand organs to finish the synthesis off. Now, when it comes to the actual traits, for example, I'm going to use Mana Heat and Super Cooling just because these basically grant us extra damage, okay? So we're going to deal extra fire damage there, and we're going to deal extra ice damage on attacks. Then we can do some extra stats. Well, I'm going to go with Stats Charge plus plus right here. This is not going to be the final stat that we use, okay? We are going to replace this later on. That's just on there for now, basically. And then for the super trait, again, this one depends entirely on you. If you're going to manually play Claudia, use Ultra Skill. Also, replace Mana Heat or Super Cooling with, ultra, uh, with um, Skill Charge++ plus plus if you are going to manually control her. However, I'm not. So what we can do is we can either use Berserker's Spirit. Okay, this would give us a big attack increase in exchange for a little bit of lost HP. Or we can go with Rexasha, which greatly increases damage, but decreases all resistances. That's fine. We can easily cap our resistances with buff items anyway. And the greatly increased damage will not only work on her attacks, it will also work on Mana Heat and Super Cooling, allowing her to deal just incredible, incredible damage. Now, yes, it is locked right now, okay? That is fine. Do not worry about that. We're going to rebuild the weapon right now. And during the rebuilding process, we are going to unlock the super trait along with the remaining abilities, okay? So now it is just a case of going through and adding the elements in that we actually need. At this point as well, you could also, you know, change the traits over if you really wanted to, but that is entirely, entirely down to you. Now, one of the things you can do as well is for the third trait, you can use something like Remnant of Eternity, which deals additional non elemental damage and grants a chance to inflict curse. Or you could use something like Magnetic, which will um, increase bolt damage. But, you know, we're not really going to control her, so that's not really that important. She is a pretty okay item user, so that is a route that you can go. But we're not going to do that. Instead, I'm going to put Remnant of Eternity on just because we deal additional non-elemental damage when attacking, and that's going to give us a nice little damage increase. Okay, so now it is literally just a case of actually going through and unlocking everything. So, what we need to do now is we need to get a, another little bit of water element right there. We don't want to go too high here, though. Simply due to the fact we want to try and keep our level as low as possible during this step. So we're just going to go all the way down until I find something with just two or three. There we go. So we've got something here with two water. We're just going to throw that in. Then we have another ingot. We're going to drop that in and two more ingots right there. Okay, so now we've got all the abilities up there that we need. We are going to have to finish the traits off. We'll do that momentarily. But we also need to get the final critical ability 
So just like before, we're going to make sure we only use a just perfect enough amount right there. So now we are level 79 on the weapon. Now it's time to get the final trait for us. And this is also the last step we have of being able to actually add any traits. So just double check that your traits are on there, the ones that you actually want to use. If they are not, add them now. If they are, great, we're perfectly fine. Again, like this, the traits are entirely up to you on what you want to use and how you want to play, okay? Especially for somebody like Claudia, this is entirely personal. So use what you like. I've already gave you my suggestions. You can feel free to use them or you can feel free to ignore them. That's entirely up to you. So now that we've finished rebuilding, we've got all of the abilities learned. I'm not going to bother getting the quality. There's no point. We're already maximum quality. Just do one final double check to make sure all the important ones are learned and they are. We can also drop an ingot in here just to get a little bit more attack. That one's entirely up to you. However, I don't have enough, uh, unfortunately. So what I would really have to do is I would have to sort of dupe a couple more uh, ingots. No, that's still not going to be enough, actually. Well, it's fine. We're just going to dump them in there anyway, just for 10 extra attack. Why not? We're only missing out on five attack. It's not the end of the world. So now we are going to finish off the uh, synthesis. So as I mentioned, when it comes to traits, they are entirely up to you. You can either use stats charge plus plus, attack and speed charge plus plus, and, you know, attack and defense charge plus plus, or attack and speed charge plus. If you really want to go all out on the stats, I mean, like that, 368 attack, 443 attack, that is entirely up to you, okay? This is entirely personal. Me personally, I think her stats are high enough. So we want more damage from her. And for that, we are going to use Remnants of Eternity for guaranteed extra damage and a chance to inflict curse. We're going to use Super Cooling for extra ice damage and a chance to inflict frostbite. And we're going to use Mana Heat for extra fire damage and a chance to inflict burn. The reason we're using these is when we do debuff mobs in the DLC, because yes, we don't need to debuff or even on Charismatic in the base game. We will be lowering the elemental resistance of, you know, the DLC boss all the way down to nothing. So using extra elemental damage is going to come in nice. And we also have buff effects that increase our, ele uh, our elemental damage even further. So that is why we are going to go with these. So we're going to go ahead and choose them. And then for the super traits, we are, of course, using Rick Sasha. It is going to make her a little bit more flimsy. However, her damage will be absolutely insane. Now, with that out of the way, we're going to go ahead and lock that. Now it is time to rebuild it. Uh, sorry, reinforce it. Now, with the reinforcement, as you can see, we already have two effects. This means we can only add two more effects okay and this one again is a little bit down to personal preference now for me personally okay i like using presto the reason for that is it deals additional magic damage when attacking and damage amount may increase based on current ap so the reason i like that is we get another source of damage and the higher our AP, the more damage that is going to do as well. Other than that, okay, we can also use things like um, Illuminating Scale, which will remove a target's buffs and extend debuffs when attacking. This is going to be great for the debuffing item that we have, where we can inflict like eight debuffs on the boss. This pretty much just means that the boss will always be debuffed, okay? And we only need this on one character as well other than that you could also use you know things like a uh, deep wound if you wanted to which just once again deals more damage when you critical and obviously with the critical boost of the weapon itself this is actually going to trigger quite often okay so that is something else that you can consider likewise though we are dealing a lot of elemental damage now as well so something that you could actually do if you really wanted to is you could use memory of dream for non-elemental damage or you could use um i think it's dispelling light it's not dispelling light where is it uh heaven's blessing that's the one 
you could use heaven's blessing which increases fire ice bolt and air damage so we've already got two of them on our weapon so you could boost their damage even further likewise you could use critical hits increases but that is entirely up to you now what i'm going to do i'm just going to duplicate an energy orca right now like i don't want to lose my uh, my perfect one so we are just going to very quickly duplicate it when i actually find it there it is i'll dupe a few of these because i will be using these on a couple of characters so now that we have that let's go ahead and actually throw it into the weapon shall we so again the effect for that is presto okay this is just going to increase our damage further now that we've got that added in we've need one more effect and for this i am actually going to go with illuminating scale just because this is going to easily allow us to keep our damage going basically it's going to allow us to keep all debuffs up incredibly incredibly simple now we've got all of our effects on there at this point so now it all comes down to stats this again is going to be a little bit up to you okay you can focus on hp you can focus on attack you can focus on defense or you can focus on speed okay it is entirely entirely up to you what i'm going to do though i'm going to throw a dragon egg in there that's simply because it gives me a little bit of everything as well as a moderate attack increase so now we are here we just need to once again choose the traits which is going to be mana heat super cooling and remnant of eternity of course we already have the effects and the super traits on there so now we just have to confirm that build basically and then we have it so there we go that is the ultimate weapon for claudia what we're going to do real quick as well is i'm going to go ahead and equip that weapon on claudia and then we are also going to actually just put her as the party leader and we're going to go and do a very quick fight the reason for that is i just want to show you the sort of damage that we can be expecting here from claudia so let's just go to i don't know a random area old fairy stone silo some pretty high level mobs in here and i will also show you that we are on a charismatic difficulty as well so there we go we are on charismatic difficulty let's just do the boss right here the strong mob and now let's take a look at how much damage claudia actually does so straight off the bat look at that damage like it is crazy crazy damage she's doing like five, 10 000 damage 15 000 damage and she has incredibly good evasion and if you want to use her skills as well look at not only the ap generation we are getting here but also the damage we were dealing there and that is why i went for that sort of build on claudia but though everybody that is going to be the end of this video i hope you've enjoyed it and i hope it has helped if it has then please be sure to smash that like button and drop a comment down below i have tons more atelier riser free guides coming for you guys as well so make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss them as always everybody thanks for watching and i'll see you soon